Kaplan. I'm in San Pedro Sula, Honduras at Women of Hope, and I want you to meet Leslie. How long have you been coming here? I've been here over three years. So who invited you to come? The last time that there was a medical team, I came, I heard about it, and I thought, well, I'll go. I really liked it there, and so I started to attend the program. And Mercedes invited me to come, and I've been coming since. Okay, what do you do here? Here I learn a lot. I learn the Word of God. I'm very thankful to the Lord. They help us in a lot of different ways, and I'm glad that I was able to meet you, April. Before when I was on the streets and all of that, and here they're teaching us a lot of skills. I'm in the sewing class, I'm in the jewelry making class, and I'm in the bakery. And I thank God and all of the women here. I'm also thankful that even though when you're far away, you see those preaching videos. My life has changed a lot because of this place. Getting to know the people here has completely changed my life completely. Even though I'm married and I have a house, but I, live, I still was out on the streets all the time. And I was going up and down the streets and my life was very disordered. But now I'm in the discipleship class and I'm learning a lot here. Who do you live with? I live with my four kids, my husband. I have a set of twins. One of my daughters is sick now. She's gone to eight different doctors and nothing's happened and found out what's happening with her so far. She's 19, this girl. The youngest one is just turned 18. The oldest one is a boy, but he doesn't have any work. Do you go to church? My husband and my girls go with me to church. Staff here at Women's Hope have gone to the hospital. My husband likes it when I come here. My husband says, where are you going? Oh, I'm going to Women's Hope. I'm going to be in the bakery today. He says, Rachel's coming. I've changed a whole lot. I feel like I'm a different person. I've learned to sew here. Yeah. I've made curtains. I've made headbands. I did not know how to sew a stitch before. Uh, I now have a small sewing machine. Sometimes people come to my house. They want me to make with some headbands, and I'll, I'll charge them money for that. And all of that, but I, I learned how to do that here. Thank you for your help here. I'm very thankful that I've been able to come, that God has opened the doors to this place. And Sister Mercedes, she prays for us, and Susanna. I've never had problems with anybody here. We've always been able to get along. What would you like to say to a woman? Not too long ago, I was in the market, and I bumped into a girl that's come here before, but she's not coming now, and I invited her to come back. There's some new girls who, hey. that are on the street corner where I live, and I've talked to them, too. I told them, your life would change, my life changed, and they said, well, what do you do there? Why are you always going up there? I said, it's a great place to go. It's very, really great there. They, I, I tell them that they'll take you in there, and that they'll support you, and, and she says, it's just like taking off old clothes. She said that I tell them that they can take off that whole life. There's four girls. I said they're going to come. Amen. They want to come and see this place and see what's Amen. up here. Because they hear me saying it's a really great place. So Even though foreigners come here, they don't treat us shabbily. They don't look down on us. They treat us as if they're you know, wearing our own home. Amen. Gracias. Gracias. Amen.